Good afternoon. Thank you for coming. This is the last brand pitch about South African wines. And I want to use this opportunity to one last time um, press our beautiful country on your heart. So I will first introduce our country briefly to you and then ourselves and our mission. Then I'll be speaking about our wines in general and in the end about this particular wine that you will have in your glass. This is the map of the Western Cape, the main wine growing area. South Africa is a huge country. It stretches across the entire tip, southern tip of the African continent. We have 55 million people, 4,8 are white people, and we have only 6 million taxpayers. Um, the, European settlers that came in the middle of the 17th century to settle in South Africa brought their wine growing culture with them. And so South Africa is the only country, the only wine industry in the world where they have a particular specific birthday where they know when the first time wine was made and that was on the 2nd February 1659. In other words, the South African wine industry is just as old as the, as the wines, uh, wine country of, of Bordeaux, wine region of Bordeaux, the, by way the oldest of the new world wine growing countries. Uh, nowadays, we have just under 100,000 hectare of vines and altogether only 559 wineries, which is very little. This is the view from our vineyards. Um, it is reflected on the labels of our, our wines and the name Kapsicht means Cape View. Um, I originally grew up in Germany and wanted to travel around the world in 1978 and 79 and fell in love with the country and with a young farmer's son. So the next picture is, is our family, our team. The farm was bought in 1946 by the grandfather and um, this is our team today. My husband controlling the finances, me being the export manager. Our son is our winemaker, my daughter-in-law, the local um, sales manager for South Africa, and my brother-in-law, my husband's younger brother, looks after the vineyards. So we are uh, a family team, which, of which there are relatively few left. This is the size of our farm. We have 190 hectare altogether, and... Uh, grow many different wines. The typical old uh, traditional way is when, when the workers live on the farm where they work. For the last 300 years that has been the case. But nowadays South Africa has become so popular, a lot of tourism has come to South Africa, that uh, many wealthy people invest and buy vineyards. And the very first thing they do is get rid of the, the workers by buying them houses in townships and removing them from the farm. We have decided that um, being owners of such a large piece of land com comes with responsibility. And South Africa, as you might know, has a host of problems like high unemployment, uh, poverty, crime. And um, so we are not in the business of making cheap, uh, cheerful wi wines with high margins. Our life goes around wanting to uplift the workers on our farm as well, trying to help um, solve South Africa's problems and, and um, doing that by education. Uh, this is our, our village and there we have a building with, where we have a kindergarten and an after school club. Um, you see this here. We have about 16 ki children nowadays in the, in the kindergarten and employ two, two kindergarten teachers. We've discovered that none of our children finish school. We had, in over 60 years, only eight children uh, finishing the 12th class, and um, they often use the school fees as an excuse to, to stop 
the school. So, uh, and all the girls get pregnant. So since 2002, we paying all the um, school fees for all 45 children of, of our workers. And uh, to prevent them from hanging around and taking drugs and um, fooling around in the afternoons, we are employing two teachers who come from the outside to help our children with homework in the afternoons, teaching them life skills as well, which means how to wash hygienically, how to eat healthily, not to smoke, not to take drugs, etc. We're hoping that the next generation of children will be able to have tertiary education and better jobs um, than their parents. Um, there's a couple of pictures. In the evenings when the kids go home, uh, we are offering uh, literacy classes for adults. And every, from time to time, we have a health day on the farm. Here you see the close proximity we have to uh, Table Bay. This is Table Bay and Table Mountain. And uh, uh, in winter, you see the, the clouds coming from the Atlantic Ocean and uh, going inland, bringing rain. So it's the only area, the Western Cape, where you have Mediterranean climate, wet, cold winters, dry, warm summers. And because the rain comes from the southwest, from the ocean, rains off in front of the mountains, it is also the only area where you can still uh, grow vineyards without artificial irrigation. So none of our vineyards is irrigated, which is, has become very rare in South Africa as well. Uh, our soil consists of weathered granite rocks, um, which is a poor soil, giving you naturally low yields. But with such a large farm, we don't really want more quantities. We also still have a vineyard that was planted by the grandfather in 1947, uh, old bush wine, Chenin Blanc, and all our 162 hectares under wines have been farmed environmentally friendly and have been certified, as we've heard in the previous session. Um, all the uh, bottles carry a neck tag that certifies um, that we are not polluting the soil and the water, um, etc. We have healthy grapes. And all our grapes have been hand-picked. This is the same old vineyard from 1974 uh, in summer when it produces fruit. Uh, we have temperature differences of, uh, well, 20 degrees, which is very beneficial for the, for the grapes in summer. We're picking now in February and March. It was quite warm. Um, but at night, the grapes have a chance to cool down, and you see the, uh, the banks of mist in the mornings cooling down. Um, the smallest ter terroir denomination there is in South Africa is an estate. You have regions and wards and districts, and when you, call, when you are registered as an estate in South Africa, you may not buy in any wines. Any wine bottle carrying the word estate on the label means that the grapes have been, been grown on your estate and made in your cellar. That is important for customers because then there is a guarantee that your wines will come every year from the same vineyard. We are having a huge drought at the moment um, and many people harvest uh, much less than usual. And so if they run out of wines, they are going to source wines all over the place. Well, um, so the customer won't have a guarantee where the wines come from. Whereas if it's as an estate on the label, um, you have the guarantee of continuity of the same quality. The wine I have chosen for you today is Pinotage. You have uh, heard about Pinotage being a cross between Pinot Noir and Cinso, or the South African word Hermitage. Um, we have a standard Pinotage at our stand, and this is our flagship wine under the family name Staedtler. Um, yeah, and this is the old vineyard where it comes from, planted in 1970, still a bush wine. There you see them picking by hand, back-breaking job, but um, uh, we like to produce low quantities in order to have deep concentrated um, fruit. This is what the grapes look like. And then in the cellar, uh, all each land 
is being kept separately, the fruit of each land, the, the vineyards, and then we taste through the tanks and choose the very best one, which we put uh, into French oak bar barriques for two years. Um, this is our team. Uh, photo was taken um, when the Stadler Pinotage 2006 won the Decanter uh, International Trophy for best single red varietal of all countries in the entire world and all red varietals. So it was a huge um, award and highlight for my husband. See my husband here, or my son, and my brother in law. Uh, we have truly been blessed with, with having success with our wines, with living in harmony with our workers, in harmony with our family. Um, and uh, these are the wines that we produce. I've brought the, um, the Chenin Blanc at, at the table and the Estate Red and Bin 3. So they are uh, FOB about um, $4 to $4.50. Uh, then we have a range of single varietals that all spent two years in French oak barrels, about 50% new, 50% second fill. Um, and then our flagship range, uh, the, which I have all three here as well. As you can see, we have a pentagon, which means five angles, which is our Bordeaux blend. So if you have any questions or want more explanations, I'll be um, at my table. We, oh yeah, we're making a brandy as well, but that I did not bring. So this is a summary of what, what we believe in, and I'm the second table on the right-hand side. You can taste our other wines there. We uh, would like to find a new importer in the USA. We've been before in Connecticut, but our importer has dis disappeared all together with a lot of money as well. And so I have to come again uh, to try and find an importer. I'll be happy to come and support you once a year and um, travel with you to, to visit your customers and give tastings. Thank you for listening. <laughs>